There's a lot of information coming out about the coronavirus vaccine, and it changes often. It's a lot to keep up with, so let's go through it and talk about what we can verify, what's false, and what we just don't know. Our sources are Dr. Carlos Del Rio, infectious disease expert at Emory University, and the CDC. The first question comes from a viewer who asked, should you get your second dose from the same brand you received your first? The quick answer is yes, that's verified with a little wiggle room for extreme circumstances. Here's Dr. Carlos Del Rio to explain. You really should get the second vaccine because of the timing issue of the same brand you got the first one. Having said that, CDC has said that if in, in extraordinary circumstances, when they don't have one, you can get the other one. So we can put that in the verify column. If you get the Pfizer vaccine for your first shot, you should stick with Pfizer for dose number two. Same with Moderna. Claim number two has been floating around the internet, and it's even more timely now that the FDA has authorized Johnson & Johnson's single-dose vaccine. So the question is, if you started out with a two-dose vaccine, could your second dose be a shot that's intended to be a single dose? We, we don't know the data. There's no data for that. The British are doing a little bit of that, but my recommendation at this point in time is don't do that because we don't have data that makes a difference or not. So we can put this question in the unknown column because right now the science just isn't clear. All right, question number three. Can vaccinated people still be infected with COVID-19? Unfortunately, this one's not easy to answer either. Again, we think so, we don't know. We, we haven't proven one way or the other, right? So this one also goes in the unknown column until scientists can learn more. But what about this question? Do vaccines reduce the effects of COVID-19? This one has a clear answer. That's one of the things that we do know. The vaccine protects you from severe COVID and it protects you from death. This one, we can verify. The vaccine definitely reduces the effects of the virus. And our last claim, if you got the vaccine, you no longer have to wear masks or social distance. This one is false. Here's Dr. Del Rio. Because we don't know if they pr protect you from infection. Once we know that, it will be a different story. But at this point in time, I still continue to do all the things that I was doing before. The CDC agrees, saying we still don't know if the vaccine will prevent you from spreading the virus, even if you don't get sick yourself. So this one goes in the false column, because even if you've gotten the vaccine, it's still important to wear masks and social distance to protect yourself and others. Have you seen something that needs to be verified? Send us an email at verify at 11alive.com.